What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video in this series. So if you've missed out on any of these, just to catch you up, we are taking a look at some of my wish list or kind of predicting what we could get in the future into eFootball 2025. We already kind of have this precedent being set and has been set by the Messi super pack that we got, which was three different versions of Messi throughout his career. So we kind of had a wish list then, maybe follow it up with Cristiano Ronaldo, one from his Santos years, United years, and then his Real Madrid record-breaking year. And then, of course, we had the Manchester United trio of attackers, Ronaldo, Rooney, and Tevez from the 2007-2008 Champions League winning season, where they were absolutely incredible up front. So again, we got thinking. We got into the Discord. We started talking to people. I think the next choice was fairly self evidence because i think that people were always going to want to have the biggest players here so we're going to start off with a brazil 2002 version of rivaldo so these are max level players as you see here this is what i would kind of rate him at now when you've got players coming out like the likes of rui costa uh, and players like that at like 98 99 and yan collar at 97 98 um obviously the player stats and the overalls are going to be i think for the new boosters they're going to be about the 100 mark, right? So we've kind of rounded them up here. Rivaldo, I think people forget how good Rivaldo was. This Brazilian 2002 squad was incredible, man. The amount of talent that they had in this short period of time was unbelievable going forward. I mean, probably one of the best attacking trios of all time. I know Rivaldo was quite slow, but he has been pretty decent in the Pez games and he has featured in the Pez games before. So it's not out of the realms of possibility that we will get another big time card like this. We are gonna get, and Rivaldo is in the database. There is a booster edition of Rivaldo coming, but whether or not they'll kind of put it in a club pack, Let's see. I mean, I think that the club packs would be really high, but they brought out a couple of them and you could earn them as well, that they weren't just, you know, that you had to buy them with coins. But if you could earn a couple of these cards and maybe start a challenge, you know, a national team challenge that you go in, you have to rack up something like 10,000 victory points or something like that, and then be able to, you know, spin and get a free spin at one of these. I think it would add a bit of grinding to the game. But also, of course, to complete this pack, we have to get in... Mr. Samba himself, the man with this that used to play with the smile on his face, Ronaldinho. Now, Ronaldinho is already in the game. I've kind of had a love-hate relationship Ronald, with Ronaldinho in eFootball. In eFootball 2022, he was unbelievable. Probably my best attacking midfielder. Uh, dribbling, you know, pace, power, everything. He had everything. Shooting, finishing, long-range curling. And then they kind of nerfed the long range curling boys and you know what happened you couldn't really shoot those kind of like nice shots with neymar or ronaldinho and because of his lack of explosiveness sometimes um this ronaldinho card would need to have that in his prime you know what i mean so i definitely think that ronaldinho is kind of missing an ultimate card let's just say right i definitely think the way that they're going to go eventually it might take a bit of time but i do think that we will get kind of like goat additions or best cards of all time or you know the ultimate version of the the player cards right so we had to get ronaldinho in there as well and of course we can have a 2002 pack without ronaldo with the hairstyle number nine absolute beast he's going to be one of the highest rated players in the game if he ever comes and i genuinely do think that r9 has a chance at coming lads because he's been in pez before he was in Pez when it was my club, when they had the early edition of what later became Dream Team. But imagine this would be a frightening attack and trio. I know we had the Manchester United pack in the last episode that we did, but I think Ronaldo is probably in every single players that plays um, eFootball Dream Team. I think Ronaldo and probably Zidane and Henri are probably in everybody's top five wish list of players to come. So I definitely think he would be, you know, spun for by almost everybody. And as I said, this game has kind of taken on a game within the game now with the collection of cards and stuff like that. Uh, and people like to, you know, collect their cards, use their cards, and then obviously build a team of their dream team in their, in their you know, their kind of like style, right? But yeah, Rivaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, the three R's, would be an incredible team and an incredible pack to bring out. Obviously, you'd have a goal poacher, you'd have a whole player, and you probably would have maybe a prolific winger or else a Roman flank with Ronaldinho. So let me know what you guys think, which has been your favorite episode so far, if you had to pick between the Santos, 
Ronaldo Pack with the Santos, Real Madrid and Manchester United or else the Manchester United, Tevez, Rooney and Ronaldo Pack or this one. Let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah, keep your co keep the suggestions coming in for featuring more packs because you guys seem to be liking these videos, having a bit of fun with it, with the concept cards and uh, shout out to Carrasco as well for helping with these designs. All right, let's don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you in a bit.